Hey, what's up guys, Exalted here. And today, I have a full settings guide for you guys. Now that season six is coming up, um, I've been adjusting my settings to try to find the perfect settings so that you can maximize your kills in games to help your stats for when season six comes around and to hopefully get more wins. Now, in the past couple of weeks, Fortnite has actually added a couple new settings that a lot of players aren't really aware about, aware of, and these settings will be very, very beneficial to your gameplay. Now, so starting with the first, uh, starting with the first screen, we've got, we've got a matchmaking region. Now, a lot of players have their matchmaking region on auto. Now, the problem with auto is. At that second when you join a game, it'll automatically put you into the server that has the best ping at that second, but I'm sure you guys are aware of there are constantly ping spikes, and so if you end up having, like, if you have it on auto and you play in the United States and you have a ping spike on both NA West and NA East, odds of this are very low. But if you do, it'll throw you onto o an Oceana server. And you know that when you get into an Oceana server, you don't you don't have the best ping if you're in the United States. So look at the ping. Look at the ping. The lower the number, the better. And make sure you have it set to that one. Because it's what your average ping throughout the game will be, is what you're going to want. You want the lower average, not like what one has spikes. Because every, every region has ping spikes. Now... Controller sensitivity. This is a lot of personal. Um, this is all personal preference. I like 9.8. The reason why I like 9.8 is because it allows me to build as quickly as I really desire. Now that season six is coming around, in season five, players have been really good builders, and I can't imagine how much better of builders players are going to become in season six. So having that high sensitivity for uh, building, I feel, I feel is very, very crucial. Now for my. Um, targeting sensitivity and my scope so for my ads and my scope ads i have it very very low the reason why i have these so low is because a high sensitivity to aim is very difficult it's very difficult to hit your shots with a high sensitivity so i do have these um i do have these settings pretty low to make it much easier to hit your shots especially since i'm using such a high sensitivity so i can build i feel like it's a perf perfect middle ground for me so and i feel like it's a perfect middle ground so that i can build effectively and shoot effectively on the lower sensitivity Invert view. What invert view does is it makes it so whenever you look, it looks the opposite direction. For example, what you guys are probably playing right now is with this setting off. This is again personal preference. If you move your thumbstick down, it'll look you down. But if you have invert view on, if you move your thumbstick down, it'll look your player up. So it's just opposite controls, personal preference. And then camera and display, Xbox safe zone, you're definitely going to want that full. Um, it's pretty much... It's pretty much just viewing screen. It's kind of part of the HUD. Like it, you want it on full because if you have it less than full, you can't see as much. So it kind of narrows in your uh, it narrows in your camera angle. Streamer mode, personal preference, just hides your name so that players can't, I guess, send you hate messages if you have an issue with that. Hidden matchmaking delay. This is a new setting that they just added in the um in this last update a couple days ago. Hidden matchmaking delay, if you're streaming, it's very useful. It What it does is when you click ready, it will actually put in a random time between when you actually do get in a game after you click ready. And you can set that through the seconds. So for me, I have zero, because I don't really have an issue with that. But like if Ninja were to try to avoid getting stream sniped and didn't want to use streamer mode, he could turn that on, maybe have a 15 second delay, and it would randomize between that 15 seconds or 30 seconds or whatever you set it to. HUD scale, you want that on full. Unless you have an itch issue with the HUD, being too big you can set that a little smaller the hud is everything you see on your screen when you're playing a game including the map including your mats including your guns and your resources and um your kills all those things um that's the hud so you can change how big and how small it actually is now for the next portion of this first page show spectator count that just shows how many people are watching you are spectating you That'll be a little eyeball with a number in it in the left-hand corner of your screen. If you feel like that's getting in your way, turn that on or off. Um, personal preference. Sprint by default. This is a huge setting that has recently that has recently come out that I think everybody should turn on if you're using controller. Sprint by default makes it so that you don't need to push in your thumbstick, your joystick, to start sprinting. It automatically always has you sprinting. And if for some reason you just want to walk, you that's when you push in the thumbstick to walk the reason why i've sprint by default is because when you don't have to constantly jam in your uh your thumbstick 
your hands are much more relaxed and i've noticed when my hands are much more relaxed it is much easier to build it is much easier to shoot it is much easier to aim overall it keeps your hands much more relaxed and it's more it's much more easy to be precise with your movements this is a setting that is new and i really suggest you guys do turn that setting on it might take a day or two to get used to it but uh, trust me it is worthwhile in the future every little thing counts when it comes to fortnite sprint cancels reloading definitely turn that off especially if you have sprint by default or you will never be able to move and reload um i definitely have this off um tap to search or interact turn that on this is another this is a setting that a lot of players don't know about i think it's been in the game for a little while but what it does is when you're opening chest when you're reviving teammates and when you're opening uh ammo crates things like that or drinking a mushroom anything that you need to interact with all you have to do is tap it instead of hold it now this is really nice because you can go by your teammate just click x to revive him or whatever the button is for you just click them, click it, and it'll start reviving until you run away from the teammate or whatever. You don't have to worry about holding it and letting go too early and then accidentally having to like start the res again. It's just much easier, much less stress, less things you have to worry about, which overall these little things will help you improve your gameplay. Toggle targeting off. Um, the reason for this is because toggle targeting is like... So if you have this off and you're targeting a player and you're shooting at them, auto aim won't switch to a player if he runs right in front of your screen and that's what you want you don't want it you, you don't want not auto aim but aim assist you don't want aim assist constantly switching between players and i mean aim assist isn't that strong so you won't really be able to tell but i have this setting off because it kind of helps me hone in on one player while i'm trying to kill him. reset building choice i have this off it's up to you it makes it so that because i'm on builder pro it doesn't really matter um but what it does is when you have this setting off the most recent the most recent piece that you built with it's going to automatically have that piece selected when you go back to your building if you have it on it'll always reset to like wall or stair so every time you go back to your gun it'll always be back on wall i think this is really useful for, for players that play on um standard or maybe players that play on combat pro so that you can just double click b and you're back to your wall so you don't have to like scroll back to wherever you want to because players that use standard and um combat pro have nice patterns that they go through and this is mainly for builder pro doesn't really matter like i said this is personal preference if you're not using builder pro um aim assist you definitely want aim assist on um edit mode aim assist this is personal preference i actually use it i find it much easier to edit and make quicker edits when i do have edit mode aim assist it pretty much aim assists you into certain boxes while you're in the edit mode and it makes it easier to randomly just throw your screen around and get the edit right. Um, some people don't like this. Some people have turned it off. Um, but I personally use it. Turbo building. You definitely want this. A while ago, a couple months ago, they made an update where turbo building is much faster. Turbo building used to be pretty slow. And you'd have a lot of gaps in your one by ones when you're building quickly. So people wouldn't use it. They'd spam click. Because they could spam click faster than the turbo build could build. But now with the update, turbo building is an infinite amount times faster. So definitely use turbo building because there's no way you can spam click as fast as this new turbo building. Auto material change. You definitely want this on. If you run out of wood, it'll automatically switch you to your brick if you need to build. Because I feel like when I'm in a situation like this, I don't want to like be out of wood and then have to sit there, switch to my brick, and then keep going. It'll automatically do that for you. Now, for the last part of this page, um, you've got controller auto run. This just makes it so you can double press in the uh, left joystick and auto run so you don't you can sit there and your character will just run to zone or whatever it is i like that on um allow cross platform parties that just makes it so that you can get in a party with your friends who might like let's say i'm on xbox i can join a party that's in a pc or switch or phone like android or apple anything except for xbox and ps4 so i turn that on um if you don't want to ever join a player that's not on your console or your platform that you're playing on turn that off doesn't really matter um auto open doors definitely turn that off when you have a right hand peek and you're right hand peeking with other players and you're right next to a door you will constantly just be swinging the door open and close and giving away your position if you're hiding very very annoying keep that off you want to manually open your doors auto pick up weapons i keep this off because i want to choose what weapons i have in my slot 
Um, I don't want everything I run by just automatically picked up. I find that a little annoying. Auto sort consumables to the right. This is another new setting that I think you guys should all have turned on. Unless you don't use consumables on the right side. I feel like most players do. Um, when you pick it up, it automatically goes all the way to the right. So you don't have to sit there and adjust it to the right side of your loadout. I find this very nice. I love this new change. Vibration. A lot of players use vibration. I do not like vibration. When the controller is vibrating and you're on a high sensitivity, it is very, very difficult to keep really precise aiming movements. When you have vibration off, you've got no movement in your controller, it's not shaking around, and you can easily make precise movements. But with vibration on, it's shaking around, it's hard to like accommodate with the shaking to actually make those precise movements. So I have always used vibration off, and it makes a huge difference. I love it so much. I have so many players that use vibration on and they feel like they can't play, but it just takes a little bit of time to get used to. But once you get used to all these settings, you will see a lot of improvement in your gameplay. Replays, personal preference. If you want to see your replays, if you don't, turn it on or off. That's completely up to you. All right, so for the next page, we have our brightness. Now here is my brightness. I use brightness 0.65 and I think default is 0.5. The reason why I use this is because there are some, when you have shadows on on console at least, there are some pretty dark places on the map. Now when you're using, when an enemy is using a dark skin like the Enforcer, the new Blockbuster skin, it's hard to see them in those dark corners. It's hard to see them. But when you turn up the brightness, it allows for much more contrast with the darker areas and it, it makes it much easier to just see everything at least in my experience unless you have an oled display on your monitor or your tv which has super 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 dark blacks you're gonna want your brightness up a little bit um so i just have i suggest having your brightness up a little bit 0.65 isn't a ton but it's enough to make a slight difference so that i can see those dark players in dark areas um for the next page volume this is kind of up to you music volume i don't really need music but you know i kind of like the music a little bit when i'm in the lobby it just gives me something to listen to instead of just nothing and then sound effects volume i keep that 0.8 which is the same level as my cinematics and voice chat i try to keep it all at the same level so i can hear my cinematics when people are talking and i can also hear when people are talking while i'm playing the game so i don't so i'm not constantly like oh what'd you say i have no idea what you said i couldn't hear you because i was slapping up this train it was too freaking loud I don't have that problem and it's nice you can it's just just small thing personal preference subtitles um i guess subtitles if you have trouble hearing and you need to be able to read what everything says turn that on voice chat i turn that on because i cannot use xbox parties so i've got voice chat on which is just the in-game chat um just the standard basic in-game chat now for one of the last pages we've got colorblind mode Colorblind mode changes the colors of everything in the game, and I've messed around with this like crazy. I have finally found that Triton Oak on Colorblind Strength 5 is amazing. It makes the game look so much prettier, and it makes everything so much easier to see. There is a lot more contrast, and it's a lot more simple, so things aren't saturated inside of your- things aren't saturated and kind of like blurry and messed up. It's a lot more simple, it's a lot more clear cut, and you can see things much more easy in the game. Highly suggest using Triton Note 5. You can, you can change it 5, 10, 2, definitely use the colorblind mode. It just makes it so much easier on the eyes to see things. Visualize sound effects. This is, an, uh, uh, this is a setting that they recently added. Visualizing sound effects, I don't know if you guys have ever played on mobile, but when you're playing on mobile, there's a little circle similar to when you get shot. You can kind of see the direction that you get shot from, right? Left, right, in front of you, behind you. They have another circle that shows sounds, and it'll show a tiny little chest thing, and it'll tell you like if the chest is above, in front of you, behind you, to your right, to your left, and footsteps you can technically hear by looking, because it'll show you tiny little the, a footstep symbol around that circle to kind of tell you where that person is. So if you can't really use headphones, excuse my dog in the back, <laughs> if you can't really use headphones, um, this would be a great thing to get used to and learn. Uh, it's very helpful for locating players because sound and knowing where players are in the game is very, very strong. The sound in this game is very overpowered. So knowing where players are very, very helpful. For the last setting, this is my uh, controller configuration and I use Builder Pro. Personally, I just, I enjoy Builder Pro. You can use Combat Pro Standard, whatever you find easiest. Builder Pro, I feel like it's much easier to build. And I, I like Builder Pro because it gives me, um, gives me the ability to compete against PC players, which I have friends that play PC. So I need, 
I like to use Builder Pro because I feel like it's easiest to build. Now, that is all the settings. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely get used to your settings um, before season six starts so you can have the highest KD possible. We've got a new stat new set coming up. You guys should all be excited for that. Um, then again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you really enjoyed this video, hit the sub button. I make a lot of tutorial videos. With that being said, peace out guys.